So with the huge hand cannon change that came with Beyond Light, a lot of people have been left wondering what the best hand cannons for Crucible are. So today I decided to put together a list of my top 5 hand cannons for Crucible. And before we do start, I do want to say if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe because we are absolutely desperate for subs at this point. And this list is in no specific order and these are just the hand cannons that I have found the most success with. And there are plenty of other good ones that are not on this list, however for the sake of the video I'm only going to be talking about my personal favorite 5. So starting out is the one that I do use the most and that is a Dire Promise. And this hand cannon has been one of the most dominant when it comes to crucible and with it being changed to 140 rpm i think it feels even better and my personal favorite god roll for this gun is hit mark hcs ricochet rounds opening shot and range finder with the range masterwork and i found a lot of success with this role in crucible and especially in survival and trials and funny enough this was actually the first hand cannon that i ever used when it came to crucible it is very consistent and feels really smooth to use. And it's really easy to land the three headshots in a row that you need to kill an enemy. And these are dropping like crazy right now, so you are definitely bound to come across a god roll soon. And this is good to have since it isn't an exotic, but can keep up with every other exotic hand cannon that is in the Crucible playlist right now. And moving on into the exotics, we are going to talk about the Ace of Spades. Now the Ace of Spades has been a popular hand cannon within the community since Forsaken came out. And although it hasn't really seen the light of day since 150 RPMs have been so dominant, however, this season seems to be the hand cannon almost everywhere. One is using and it does make sense because this is one of the best 140s in the game right now and it's perk firefly and the trait memento mori makes it really consistent and allows you to two tap enemies it's perk memento mori makes it so when you reload after getting a precision kill it will grant bonus damage as well as its catalyst which increases the damage when firefly is active with memento mori and you get this exotic from the archive in the tower however you do need to have the forsaken dlc to get this gun and most people have this at the top of their personal list and like I said this isn't in any order and this season I found a lot of success with this I never really used it before this season so definitely give it a try and the next hand cannon I really never thought I would be putting in the top five ever but it has actually really grown on me this season and that is going to be the Sturm and to be honest I don't even have the catalyst completed for this weapon yet and the catalyst actually gives this gun more range and handling by a ton and it really makes this gun even more better than it already is and Sturm was originally a 110 rpm and has been changed to a 120 20 RPM and this change has allowed the Sturm to become a top competitor within Crucible and when you have the Drain sidearm equipped as well as a Sturm getting kills with each of these guns will actually reload your weapons so if you need to reload your Sturm and have someone running at you just pull out the Drain laser them real quick and your Sturm will be ready to go however to be honest you really don't need the Drain with this gun a lot of people think that you do in order to make it good but with this meta and how it is now you really don't need it at all i use this gun with a shotgun or a sniper rifle and the range on this gun is actually really insane as well and i feel comfortable challenging people sniping down lanes with this gun and find myself winning most engagements with it and this gun does take a little bit to get used to because of the slow rpm but you can actually two tap enemies easily with this once you get used to it and this trait accomplice makes it so when you get kills with the sturm your energy weapon will be reloaded which can come in handy for sure now if 120 rpms aren't for you and you were a huge fan of 150 rpms then the sunshot might be the hand cannon for you and this is actually the only 150 rpm left and with its catalyst this increases the range and stability and i wasn't going to include the sunshot in this list however i gave it a try in this meta and it's actually a pretty solid hand cannon to use in crucible definitely get this gun and its catalyst complete and i'm sure you will enjoy it and at the beginning before this season this was considered to be the meta for crucible and to be honest i haven't really seen much of it which is why i wasn't really going to include it However, it is definitely a good hand cannon to have and maybe it's not being used as much because Ace of Spades and all these other ones are just so dominant. However, a decent amount of people do find success with this and I was having good games with it so you might as well try it. And the last weapon on this list is going to be the Thorn. And a lot of people were thinking this gun wasn't going to be as good with it becoming a 140. However, it is still one of the most used hand cannons in Crucible right now. And its perk Soul Devourer allows you to absorb the remnant that is left behind after you kill an enemy. And this also strengthens the trait Mark of the Devourer. And this trait makes it so when you shoot an enemy, it will deal burn damage over time. And this basically allows you to get kills that you might typically not get with other hand cannons that are here on this list. And this is part of the Forsaken DLC and you can get this from the 
exotic archive in the tower. And this is my personal favorite exotic in all of Destiny, so you definitely want to get your hands on this. And yeah, that's really it for my top 5 list. If you disagree and have a top 5 list, put that in the comments below. I'd love to see what you guys think. And I will see you all in the next one, alright? Peace.